It's really not that difficult. Little crumbled bacon. And then for something like this, uh, it, it's really up to your own personal preference. I, I, I personally, I'd go with something very light because you've got the bacon on it. I found just a little nice northern Italian vinaigrette. Looks hey, like it's Sal, just... Sal recently just squeezed the lemon and some olive oil on it. Oh yeah, that's all you need. That's what we do. We have a, an arugula salad at the restaurant and that's basically our dressing. It's just fresh squeezed lemon juice, olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. So there we go, yeah. So there you've got a little asparagus bacon salad. Bite out of the refrigerator. We're gonna go back to our butternut soup. Now if you wanted to add, make this a little bit uh, more decadent, you could add a little bit of heavy cream to it. But uh, it, it really doesn't need anything. I'm gonna, um, that's my spoons right here. Give this a little taste, and this is something you know you do as a. When we talk about how to be a cook as opposed to how to cook, this is this is being a cook. This is tasting it, making a decision uh, based on what you taste, what your soup needs. A little salt, a little pepper. A little salt, a little pepper. That needs. That needs just a. What does it need? Sometimes I'm stumped too. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you just have to experiment, you know? It does need a little more sweetness. And speaking of cream, I am just going to add just a touch of cream just to... Richen um, it up a little bit? Yeah, just to, to richen it up. Where are you big on adding sherry to soup? I love sherry. Um, to change the taste. Very much so. A little nutmeg sometimes, nutmeg is good too. Yep. Cinnamon stick. Cinnamon always. Cinnamon is good. Very nice. We don't even keep that in the house. <laughs> heavy cream. Heavy cream? No, I was surprised. I, I knew they had half and half, but heavy cream is perfect. So we're just going to let that simmer for a while. And we'll get back, we'll plate that in a moment, and we'll check our beef. All right, so we're gonna finish up our uh, short ribs are out of the oven. Nice, tender, juicy. We've got some juice in the bottom that's gonna uh, make a terrific sauce. Uh, butternut bisque is ready. I've got some little microwave uh, wild rice in here. So we'll go ahead and plate up our butternut bisque. These are actually very nice bowls for this color soup. I like the orange and whose team colors are these? I forget. <laughs> these are Chargers team colors. So perfect for just beating them. Butternut bisque. Got some toasted pine nuts. Gonna sprinkle right out, right into it. So there's our butternut bisque. And then as the wild rice is cooking, we're gonna take our short ribs. Mm. You can see how those have browned up nicely. They're falling, falling apart. Got a short rib. Sorry, I don't mean to be going back and forth on you there, Bob. Ooh. This is nice, isn't it? The little Easy. Uncle Ben's. Yeah, perfect. But this is part of, um, you know, our lifestyle today, being able to put something together quickly, easily. No pots and pans. Well, yeah. We use plenty of those already today. Short ribs of beef. And what I'll do uh, after you go away is I'll take the short ribs out, put them all on a plate, we'll put this back on the stove top and they continue to reduce. 
and then once this is reduced we can just go ahead and take it and uh, just put a little ladle of it over the top of the short ribs and basically a built-in sauce. It's got the uh, mirepoix, it's got a little bit of red wine, it's got tons of juices from the short ribs that have been cooking in there, all the fat is melted into that liquid, all the connective tissues are broken down into that and uh, create a re really beautiful sauce. Um, so that's Gorilla Gourmet. We made uh, asparagus bacon salad, uh, butternut bisque with toasted pine nuts, and braised short ribs with wild rice. And once again, thank uh, Ted and Gene Sullivan here in Marlboro. Thank Bob Heisen, Heisen Photography. And thank you for watching. Take care. Don't forget the wine. Wine? Uh, anything. I know Ted and Gene love white, so I would say a, a full-bodied white. If I were to drink a red with this, I'd drink the exact same red that I used in the sauce. It is a perfect way to compliment it. Um, that's it. All right. Thanks again. Take care.